So here we have a question that says, which AWS service allows you to apply multi-factor authentication, MFA, to your AWS user account? And so here we have four options and three of them uh, have some relation to MFA and one definitely does not. So we'll start out with AWS Shield. So AWS Shield, you may have chose this answer because you're thinking this is a security question. AWS Shield has something to do with security, but AWS Shield is for preventing DDoS attacks. Um, and so since the question has nothing to do with DDoS mitigation, it's definitely not AWS Shield. The next one you might think it is, is AWS Config because it has Config in the name. So maybe you're configuring your user account. Well, AWS Config is um, designed to check whether certain services um, or configurations within your AWS account are meeting the expectations that you want them to meet. So you could create a rule in AWS Config that says, um, do my users have MFA enabled? And if they don't, tell me about it, okay? But it's not really designed to set MFA. So when you actually want to set M MFA, you actually have to go to IM, which stands for Identity and Access Management. That's why you don't see Identity and Access Management here, because that would be a, a giveaway, because it's all about access. And we're talking about MFA, which um, affects access um, to your account. So that's why we see I am instead of the full name here. But right on here, you can see activate MFA on your root account and I can manage it. And you can even go to your users and make sure that you enforce MFA on their accounts. So the answer is I am. Now there's one more, which is Trusted Advisor. So Trusted Advisor is a, a strange service. I don't use it very often. But the idea behind Trusted Advisor is that it's going to uh, make recommendations for you about general things. So there's five things that it will make recommendations on, such as cost, performance, security, fault tolerance, and service limits. And one thing it will recommend is for you to use, let's see if we can find it here. It will make a recommendation under here that says, um, we just saw here, MFA on root accounts, checks the root account and warns if multi-factor is not enabled. So that's the MFA component. That sounds very similar to AWS config. And Honestly, you could set an AWS config rule that does exactly the same thing as that trust advisor check. So, um, but once again, it doesn't set MFA and the question is asking, how do you apply MFA to your AWS user accounts? And so that means it's going to be IM. So there you go.